Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Picture it, it's a late night on the strip. You've been drinking and you're not quite ready to head to bed. You wanna keep the party going, right? Why not find some tasty late night grub? Well, Las Vegas has no shortage of late night eats on the strip. You've already had your fair share of pizza, burgers, and tacos. Why not try something a little different? Just north of the Wynn and Encore on Las Vegas Boulevard, you'll find a late night strip staple that may be the perfect choice to cap off a night of excitement with an all you can eat menu and 24 seven service. Kimchi Korean restaurant. Opened in 1994, Kimchi has been serving up hungry Vegas visitors around the clock for 30 years. Despite this, we've never been. So in today's episode, we're finally gonna check out their all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue and sushi special. And as always, we'll let you know our honest thoughts and opinions on whether or not we think this is worth your time and money on your next Vegas visit. Pour yourself a cold soju and be sure to stick around for this after hours episode of James, James and Paul Try, Try It All. Kimchi Korean Barbecue is located on the north end of the Las Vegas Strip between Fountain Blue and Encore. It is actually in the strip mall that is right near Tacos El Gordo. So just continue a little bit further into the strip mall and you will find it. Alrighty folks, we have just been sat down here at our table at Kimchi. Now we have already got a little soju, got some apple soju here that we're gonna enjoy here in a few moments because you can't have some Korean barbecue without, of course, the national alcoholic beverage of Korea. So do, beautiful. Kimchi does offer an a la carte menu, different varieties of options, traditional Korean cuisine, as well as sushi and kimbap, which is basically Korean sushi. But we're gonna go for the all you can eat option tonight. And we're gonna go for the most comprehensive option here, which is $59 per person. It includes basically everything from these three columns here as far as choices. Now, obviously I could go through all of that, but I'm sure you don't care that much. However, we're gonna show you everything that we've got. So don't go anywhere. We're gonna come back as soon as our first meats or sushi arrives. Oh, I'm going to ask for fish cake. Thank you so much. Beautiful selection of banchan there. Now, for those of you that have never done Korean barbecue before, everything is brought out and you cook it right here on the grill right in front of you. Now, this right here is known as banchan. This is basically just Korean sides that you enjoy with your Korean barbecue. You're actually really supposed to eat it with the meat. Yep. But I can't lie, I always pick at it before the, I, the meat finishes cooking. I mean, you love fish cakes. So, I love fish cakes, like, it's so they good. They brought out a whole bunch of fish cake right here. Now, I'm gonna be honest and say that I am not the biggest fan of fish cake myself. More fish cake for me. Exactly, more fish cake for you. But I do love some kimchi. Now, the, the real test is... I also love the bean sprouts, yeah, I can't lie. Yeah, the bean sprouts are good too. Now the real test is, I hope there's not any shrimp in that, but if there is... <laughs> You've got your Benadryl. I've got my Benadryl, so... I'll drink go. to that. Yes, are you gonna drink to that? I'm gonna drink to that. So yeah, soju is one of the best things you could have with Korean barbecue. So smooth, so yeah. delicious. Now one awesome thing is that they also brought out some white rice that you would have with your meat. And if you've never done Korean barbecue before, they bring you a pair of scissors that you will use to cut the meat once it finishes cooking. So we're gonna go ahead and let our ribeye cook here on the grill and we'll be back to taste it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this kimchi here and let's go ahead and see how this tastes. Now I will say this, for a place that is named kimchi, they definitely have some good kimchi. It's really robust, it's spicy, there's a nice pungent chili flavor that just pops through. That vinegary tang to yeah. it as well. And it, it's weird because normally I'm not a huge vinegary. You don't like pickled things. I don't like pickled things. But when we have Korean barbecue, I go all in for that kimchi. I just love it. All right, I'm just gonna take that piece. Slice that up into little manageable bits. I will say the scissors are always the, the most effective tool. Right. Are you gonna slice mine? Oh. I will slice yours here for you. And we're gonna throw a little pork belly on the grill. Yep, pork belly on the grill. I can't wait till we can get that beef tongue on the grill. So if you've never had Korean barbecue before, they bring out these sauces. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Okay, that is sesame oil and sauce. That just brings out a lot of the flavor of the ribeye. I'm gonna go ahead and try this other sauce here. I just took a bite like behind the camera and yeah, that was, the sesame oil is beautiful. Yeah, the sesame oil is amazing. This other one, it's almost like a soy. It's like a light soy sauce. It probably just is light soy sauce. Cause it's not, it's not overtly salty. But I just, think that's light soy, yeah. Yeah, it, it's a, mm, 
It just brings out the flavor of the ribeye. The sesame oil is where it's at. I will definitely agree. Sesame oil is where it's at. Ooh, smoky. Smoky and fire. So I used to actually kind of hate the idea of Korean barbecue because I don't like the idea of going under a restaurant and cooking my own food. But my love of Korean food has greatly outweighed my disdain of cooking my own food at the table. And thankfully I've worked with meat for long enough to know the proper way to cook beef, chicken, pork, squid. So usually I'm fairly confident in what I'm doing. Now a lot of Korean restaurant, a lot of Korean barbecue restaurants will cook the meat for you at your table and a lot of them will leave it up to you. However, I'm also the, the mindset that if you are uncertain about what to do, don't hesitate to ask. I'm sure they will be very happy to help. I've got some pork belly on the grill here that we're waiting on, but in the meantime, we're gonna finish this ribeye here and then in a moment, we'll check in with you once we try the pork belly. Now, you may not know this, but I have a huge fear of fire. That being said, I am actually enjoying myself right now. This is a great experience. Your fear of fire is like, like like the Frankenstein monster. Yeah, exactly, fire, bad. Right, but I I'm, can barely get you to light a lighter. No, yeah, exactly. But I'm actually enjoying myself right now. I think this is one of the, the better Korean barbecue experiences that I've had. Ooh. Whoa, that was a big one. That was a big one. I singed my eyebrows. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I barely have eyebrows, so I'm not worried. Grab your shot of soju and stay tuned. We will be right back after these messages. Hey everyone, before we continue, please consider hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell icon for notifications whenever a new episode of James and Paul Try It All is released. It really helps us out and helps our content be seen by more viewers just like you. Thanks so much in advance. We appreciate it. I will say that beef tongue is cooking up pretty quickly. This is super thin. Tongue generally cooks really quick, when it's the, especially when it's this thinly sliced. A few moments later. I mean, that bulgogi is looking really good. So bulgogi is gonna be shaved ribeye in a Korean marinade. Super yummy, it's got a nice little bit of sweetness to it. Often comes with onions, but it looks like this is gonna be straight up shaved ribeye. No complaints. I love bulgogi. Now in the meantime, while this is cooking, let's give the pork belly a tasty taste. I love a little pork belly. Oh, it's own, it's delicious. Crispy and fatty, porky. Tastes like the mutant baby of a pork chop and bacon. Let's dip it into the sesame oil. Makes it even better. Top off a little white right rice. I love Korean barbecue so much. The carnivore Mimi is so happy. Now we just ordered a couple of sushi rolls as well. One called the man whore roll and the Superman roll. We'll check in in just a moment once those arrive and uh, show you what they got for sushi. So we're gonna have one of my favorite meats, which is the beef tongue. I absolutely love beef tongue on a Korean barbecue. It's the Mexican in you. It really is the Mexican in me. It is tender, it is fatty, it is just delicious. If you've never had beef tongue, give it a shot. Give it a shot, give it a chance. It's really rich beef. Exactly, it is really rich beef. Just, you just need to get past what it is. Now, one thing to keep in mind about coming here for Korean barbecue is it is all you can eat. There are a few catches though to that. Make sure that you eat everything that you order. You will be charged for anything that is uneaten. That being said, let's try this bulgogi. Nothing can be taken to go. Exactly, nothing can be taken to go. It all must be eaten in the restaurant. Good bulgogi? Mm hmm This bulgogi is so good. Just the amount of flavor from that marinade. He's not kidding. That bulgogi marinade is delicious. It just adds this wonderful sweetness to it. That is so good. So good. Now, while we are still waiting for our sushi to arrive, because uh, obviously that'll take a little bit of time, we just got a plate of galbi, which is gonna be basically beef short rib, which is just a wonderful cut. One of my favorite cuts of beef to begin with. I love beef short rib, so this is always one of my Korean barbecue go-tos. I'm excited. That spicy squid looks good. Cannot wait to get that on the grill. Oh yeah, garlic and it looks like a spicy sauce and some spring onions, green onions. That's gonna be mostly you. I, I like the taste of squid, but the texture kind of messes with my ADD. I like fried squid more than anything else. I don't know, like when it's, Grilled, something about the texture just is off to me. Oh my god, our sushi robot is bringing our sushi rolls. Ooh, sushi robot. All right, let's see here. We got our sushis. Oh, yay. It's brought out by a really awesome serving robot. Thank you, little sushi robot. We appreciate you. 
I guess I hit the done button, I'm assuming? I think so. Thank you, Mr. Robot. We'll see you later. God, I love the future. I know, right? All right, guys, so we have got a Superman roll here, which is going to be eel and cream cheese on the inside, and then more eel on top, top with eel sauce. This one's going to be the man whore roll. I honestly got this one because of the name. So this is going to be fresh salmon, cream cheese with spicy ground tuna, spicy mayo, and more eel sauce. Sounds delightful. It does sound delightful. Let's try the Superman roll first. Eel's my jam, so I'm going in here. It's warm, I did not expect that, but that's delicious. The eel is perfectly cooked. The cream cheese adds a nice little creamy tanginess to it. The eel sauce is sweet and delightful. Super good. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna throw it on there, but that makes more sense. I see. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That way you don't lose the sauce. Yeah. So I just stir great. as it. Okay. That was a little different than I'm used to with this. I know, normally, awesome. normally when we get squid at a Korean barbecue, it just, they just, we just throw it on the grill. Or the octopus. Yeah. That's quite awesome, actually, and genius. We've also got our galbi, which is, again, deep short rib. Let's give this a taste if I can pick it up with my chopsticks, because apparently the soju is getting to me. It's got a very similar marinade to the bulgogi. It's nice and sweet, meaty, fatty, and rich. Great. I love deep short rib. All right, everyone. I'm going to try this man whore roll, which... I'm excited just by the name. Right. Now, I love eel, I love tuna. So let's go ahead and give this- This tuna and salmon with eel sauce. Tuna and salmon with eel sauce. Now that's even better. This is a warm roll, but it's delightful. And now I'm getting the spice coming through. This is good. I'm getting the flavor of the eel. And definitely taste the tuna and salmon. If you come here to kimchi, get yourself one of those man whore rolls. Get yourself a man whore. It looks like our squid is making some progress. Mmm. That squid is looking delightful. Right? All those delicious onions. And yep. Oh, there's a little tentacle right there, too. That looks tasty. Tentacle! Oh my god. Yeah, we'll let that kind of cook in the spicy sauce there. You notice the table that we are sitting at? It has room for six people. This is a great activity if you want just a communal dining experience. Let's say you just went out to a club, you went out for a late night, you just want to have a fun communal dining experience with your friends. Korean barbecue is a great way to do it. Absolutely, it's best enjoyed with a group. It is best enjoyed with a group. Now the way that James and I are doing it, you know, we're just doing it the two of us, but it is not uncommon for us at home to gather a group of friends and go out for Korean barbecue. Five minutes later. It is my turn to try this spicy squid. Now I have always been a big fan of octopus squid. And when you come to a Korean barbecue, it is always just delicious to to have. It's now, a staple on the it menu. It is a staple on the menu too. Now, I will say this, they do not have octopus on the menu, but they do have spicy squid. And it is offered on the premium option. So I figured I will go ahead and try my spicy squid. I will say it is like any other type of similar creature. It is gonna have a chewier texture, sometimes a little rubbery. That may also have been because we may have kept it on the burner a little longer than we needed it to be. It does have a nice marinade to it. How's the heat level? I haven't tried it yet. Actually, I feel like you should go ahead and give it a try. All right. Because it's not it's not hot spicy. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that is good. It is good. It's not hot spicy. No. But it's spicy in the sense that it's very well seasoned. I mean, there's... Mm -hmm. A little bit of heat to it, but it's not like, no. it's not nearly as spicy as some spicy squid that I've had at other Korean barbecue. It's actually kind of mild. I'm in love with the squid though. That's good. You know, one thing I want to encourage anyone that is watching this video or watching our channel, be adventurous, try new things. I fully encourage you to, if it's something that you're not normally used to, just give it a try. You may be quite surprised with you know, how it, the flavor is. If you were to ask me years ago if I would be eating squid at a Korean barbecue restaurant here in Las Vegas, I probably would have said no. So to that, I will say, try something new. I just want to go ahead and reiterate what Paul just said because ultimately it wasn't until I, I started dating Paul eight years ago that I, I had never even had Korean food to begin with. And, and now it's become almost a regular part of my diet. I, I, I really enjoy the cuisine. 
and the just abundant of flavors and spice that is associated with it. One minute later. All right, guys, we got one last shot of soju. So before we uh, head to the final thoughts, one final cheers. 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 God, I love soju. Same. Alrighty, friends, I gotta say that was pretty darn yummy. Was it the best Korean barbecue I think we've ever had? Probably not, let's just be honest. But it was definitely up there. It was solid Korean barbecue for a place that's open 24 oh, yeah. hours here on the Vegas Strip. I can't complain at all. Everyone was super friendly, service was nice. And the best thing about Korean barbecue is really, like, because you're cooking it yourself, you don't really ever have to wait that long. No, they just bring the meat out and you cook it at the table. Mm -hmm. uh, it really is, like, in my opinion, and many others, probably the best late night type food, especially mm -hmm. after you've been drinking. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell icon for notifications whenever a new episode of James and Paul Try It All is released every Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, as well as our weekly Slot Play Sunday series every night, every Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That soju's getting to you. That soju's getting to me. We're gonna go walk that off for a bit and then head back to our hotel. We'll definitely be back, and we hope that you'll consider checking them out as well. Thanks so much for watching, and until next week, have a great one. Wait, there's Taiyaki. There's Taiyaki. wonder what their hours are. It does not say. It does not have hours listed, does it? Nope. Taiyaki and soft serve. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Oh, they have one of those little mini cabinets I in know, there. Right? A mini cabinet of Marvel vs. Capcom 2.